what is up youtube it's alter ego welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing 55 more things you didn't know about lethal company i know you guys are all busy people so let's jump right into it eyeless dogs cannot hear the ship door open or close mimics climb up and down ladders really fast all players can see the ghost girl on the ship camera instead of fully typing out confirm or deny you can just type c or d Enemies cannot get through locked doors, just be careful because sometimes they can hit you through them. Each supply drop can hold a maximum of 12 items. In the big room in the facility, if you jump onto this shelf or any other shelf, the jester cannot kill you. You can get through the fire exit when you're standing on the beam. You can jump onto the railing on the front of the ship. This is especially useful when you're at the company building and you have a friend dropping loot off on the railing for you. If you happen to find a remote inside the facility, you can use it to turn on and off the lights in the ship. Eyeless dogs can kill baboon hawks. Baboon hawks can kill eyeless dogs. You don't need to use the ladder to get on top of the ship, you can use the ledges on either side of the ship. The music from supply drops will distract eyeless dogs. This is especially useful if you have a dog guarding your ship. If you do need to do this, I suggest buying a walkie talkie since it's the cheapest item in the store. Also, keep in mind that they can still hear your footsteps even if you're not sprinting, so make sure you're crouching if you're close. When you get hit by an enemy, you will gain stamina. You can glitch onto the red cupboard in the ship. This is useful because the ghost girl cannot kill you here since she thinks you're on top of the ship. Typing boobs will buy a boombox. Man, I love this game. There are two masks in the game, the tragedy mask and the comedy mask. The tragedy mask will immediately turn you into a mimic once you put it on. The comedy mask you can take on and off, but if you have it on too long, it will turn you into a mimic. Brackens will only aggro if they're on this part of your screen. This is useful for chasing them back as well as baiting them somewhere. Most of you probably already know this fast route down Titan, but if you don't want to take any fall damage, jump down onto the light post, then down to the ground and you won't take any damage. Be careful where you're placing your items because baboon hawks will pick them up and bring them back to their nest. If you can manage to get an eyeless dog to charge into a wall, they'll continuously charge into the wall which is a great opportunity to kill them. Keep in mind it'll take 12 hits until they're dead. If timed perfectly, you can get an earthworm to kill a forest giant. You will not take any extra fall damage no matter how much weight you're carrying. You can't outrun forest giants, but you can hide from them. Their AI works off line of sight, so if you can find something to break their line of sight, even something as small as a tree, they should de-aggro. You can kill enemies by throwing a stun grenade on landmines. You can then use the now dud stun grenade to do it over and over and over. The ghost girl will choose one person to target and will not go after anyone else until her initial target is dead. Playing music from a boombox will attract slime and make it move faster. If you're holding the boombox, the slime will not kill you, but if you drop the boombox, even if it's still playing music, the slime will go after you at a much faster rate. You can get to the offense fire exit without an extension ladder. You're going to want to make your way over to this rock, jump up the crevices. Once you get near the top, you're going to want to start sprinting and jumping until you get on top of the rock. It's kind of hard, but as long as you're jumping in the same areas that I did, you should be fine. You can also get to the dying fire exit without an extension ladder by jumping up this hill. If you have a metallic object, you can kill dogs with lightning. Don't try this on forest giants. There's a secret room on Rend off to the left. This is useful for escaping dogs and giants as well as baiting them to this area. That way you can take the back route to and from the ship. A full day lasts 11 minutes and a fully charged walkie talkie will last almost 14 minutes. So if you turn your walkie talkie on at the beginning of the day, you can use its charge as an internal clock. In the facility's big room, you can jump across the gap. If you kill a nutcracker right after it reloads, you'll have a fully loaded shotgun as well as the two shells it drops. Instead of trying to strafe jump through the opening, you can just jump over this rail. While holding E, you can drag your cursor over to where you want to place your item in the cabinet for a cleaner look. You can use an extension ladder to block bullets coming from a turret. Make sure you're closing doors behind you, especially if there's a bracken, because you'll hear it open the door when it's trying to sneak up on you. Mimics and players that have been converted into mimics will spin around on the monitor. 
When collecting beehives on March, if you take the same route I'm taking where you jump up onto the rail, onto the side panel, and drop the beehive on the ship, this will collect the beehive so you don't need to collect it upon leaving. The easiest way to kill a spider is to bring it into this room, jump onto the beam, and from there it's pretty much a free kill. You can do this on both sides. Upon takeoff, as long as you're anywhere on the ship, whether that's the railing, on top, or on the ladder, you and all your items will be teleported inside. There is an official formula for overtime bonus, but to keep it simple, the more scrap you sell over quota, the more your overtime bonus will be. If you're short on quota, you can sell your friends for $5 each. No enemies in the game can hear you except eyeless dogs. You can jump over most enemies, this includes the ghost girl as long as you have some height on her. Yield signs weigh 42 pounds, stop signs 21 pounds, and shovels 8 pounds, so if you have a choice, always use a shovel. If you get critically injured, that means you've dropped under 20 HP, in which case you'll immediately start regening back up to 20. If you drop below 10 HP, then you won't be able to sprint, and you'll be very slowed until you're back up to 20 HP. The door at the company building opens from sound and the monster behind the wall won't try to kill you unless you continue to make sound after the door has opened, so feel free to ring the bell as many times as you need until the door has opened. If you get too close to a nutcracker, it'll kick you, which is an insta-death. Even if the ghost girl has already tried to kill you, when she spawns behind you, if you just never look at her, she will not kill you unless you back up into her. If you're being chased, make sure you're closing doors behind you because it'll slow down enemies. This is especially useful with coil heads because they'll be stuck behind the door for about 15 seconds. Mimics cannot grab you through the railing on the stairs. Make sure you're taking advantage of this on Titan. This is the safest way to kill them. This was my second 55 things you didn't know about Lethal Company video. If you didn't see the first one, you should go check that one out. It was geared towards beginners, but there are a handful of really good intermediate and advanced tips. I'll go ahead and link it on the screen and in the description down below. I'm thinking about doing another one of these videos, but I don't have a solid list of 55 tips. So if you guys know any good tips or obscure facts about the game that I didn't already cover, shoot them down in the comments below and I might do another episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.